Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are enjoying the good health. Today, the topic on which I will deliver a lecture is degrees of price elasticity of demand. There are five different degrees of price elasticity of demand. As I have already explained you what is price elasticity of demand in my last lecture. Price elasticity of demand, it measures the responsiveness of demand due to change in price and the coefficient of price elasticity of demand gives percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price. Now coming to the topic degrees of price elasticity of demand let us start from the unitary elastic demand curve In case of unitary elastic demand curve, the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is equal to 1, which means that if there is 1% change in price, this DLP is change in price by 1%, when there is change in price, it will have its impact, it will have its effect on quantity demanded. The change in quantity demanded, that is DLQ, change in quantity demanded of a particular good or service it will be same one percent that is one percent change in price due to one percent change in quantity demanded means the same change in price will affect the same change in quantity demanded in this case the shape of demand curve is rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola I will draw it demand curve here whose shape is rectangular hyperbola on vertical axis we measure we take price of a good or service and on horizontal axis units of demand or quantity demanded of a particular good or service and this is the demand curve d d downward sloping demand curve rectangular in its shape in its position let us say op is the initial price at which a consumer a buyer demand this oq units of a commodity or service let us make a fall in price decrease in price of a good from p to p dash based on law of demand there will be increase in quantity demanded of a good from q to say q dash increase in demand that is change in quantity demanded due to change in price from p to p1 in this case the change of price P to P1 will lead to same change in quantity demand del Q equal to Q to Q dash. Therefore, coefficient of price elasticity of demand will be equal to 1. I will again repeat it that it means that if there is 1% change in price, there will be same one percent change in quantity demanded that is why it is known as unitary elastic demand curve and you have to remember it that the shape of the demand curve in this case is rectangular hyperbola now we will learn second degree of price elasticity of demand more than more 
मोर देन यूनिटरी इलास्टिक डिमांड करो इन दिस केस द कोपसेंट ऑफ प्राइस इलास्ट ऑफ डिमांड इज ग्रेटर देन वन which means that if there is 1% change in price del p there will be more than 1% change in quantity demanded it may be 2% 5% and so on means more than one that is why the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is greater than 1 and this coefficient of price elasticity of demand it is obtained with the help of taking the value of change in price and change in quantity demanded it gives a change in demand due to change in price this scope shot of price elasticity of demand which is greater than one in case of more than unitary elastic demand curve we can also call this type of demand curve more elastic and we can say the price change price effect in terms of price effect on quantity demanded is effective whether there is increase in price or decrease in price it will have it is much effect it will impact much the quantity demanded i will draw a diagram for this type of demand curve price of a good on vertical axis units of demand or quantity demanded of a good or service and in case of more than unitary elastic demand curve the shape of demand curve is flatter this dd this is the demand curve let us say op is the initial price at which a consumer a buyer demands or q units of a good let us make a fall a decrease in the price of a good from p to p dash the quantity demanded will increase based on law of demand when there is fall in price the demand of a good or service it will increase while other determinants of demand remain constant such as income population price of related goods etc the demand will increase from q to q dash that is del q change in quantity demanded due to change in price here the change in price or change in quantity demanded del q which is equal to q to q dash is greater than change in price which is equal to p to p dash or we can say the area that covers a price change this much p 1 p a for the c it is less than the change in quantity demanded which is equal to this much q to q dash or we can also interpret it this way that o p a q it will be less than o p dash b q dash means change in price is less than change in quantity demanded or we can say there is much more change in quantity demanded when there is some percentage change in price therefore coefficient of price elasticity of demand is always greater than one which shows that if there is 1% change in price suppose from p to p1 it is 1% change in price the quantity demanded from q to q1 it will be more than 1% change in quantity demanded will be 2% 4% 5% 6% 7% 8% 9% 10% 11% 12% 13% 14% 15% 16% 17% 18% 19% 20% 21% 22% 23% 24% 25% 26% 27% 28% 29% 30% 31% 32%
six percent and so on more than one percent therefore coefficient of price elasticity of demand will be greater than one and we can say there is much impact of price change on quantity demanded and the price changes effect in terms of quantity demanded now the third degree of price elasticity of demand is less than unitary elastic demand curve in this case coefficient of price elasticity of demand is less than one which means that change if there is one percent change in price the change in quantity demanded will be less than one percent it may be 0 0.9 percent 0 0.8 0 0.5 percent means less than change in price and price effect in terms of quantity demanded it will be less effective it has its effect impact on quantity demanded when there is a change in price either fall in price or increase in price the quantity demanded will get effect it will increase or decrease depending upon the direction of price change but that effect will be less than change in price as here we have understood that one percent change in price leads to say one zero point nine percent change in demand or zero point eight percent change in demand therefore price effect in terms of count demanded will be less effective in this case the shape of demand curve is steep horizontal axis units of demand on vertical axis price of a good or service this is the demand curve which is steep in its position in its shape dd downward sloping demand curve let us say op is the initial price at which the demand is oq units if there is fall in price from p to p dash that is decrease in price showing change in price del p based on a law of demand there will be increase in demand del q q to q dash in this case if you will look at that this graph this diagram you will find that the change in price from p to p that lp it is more than change in demand that is q to q dash or del q change in price which is equal to p to p dash is less than change in quantity demanded or we can say sorry change in price p to p dash that is lp is more than change in quantity demanded that is q to q dash let us explain here change in quantity demanded which is equal to q to q dash is less than change in price which is equal to p to p dash therefore price there is price effect there when price have decreased the quantity demanded have increased but not too much as compared to change in price if there let us suppose this is one percent change in price from p to p dash if it is suppose one percent decrease in price the increase in demand q to q dash let us suppose it is equal to 0 0.6 percent change in price have effective change in quantity demanded but not too much change in price is one percent but change in demand it is only 0 0.6 percent less than one therefore coefficient of price elasticity of demand in case of less than unitary elastic demand curve is less than one and diagrammatically it is also proven here the area between this price change and the change in quantity demanded now
perfectly elastic demand curve in this case the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is infinity which means that a very small change in price leads to infinite change in quantity demanded unlimited change in quantity demanded and the shape of demand curve in this case is horizontal on vertical axis price of a good on horizontal axis quantity demanded of a good or service and this is the demand curve let us say op is the initial price at which a demand is o q units a very small change in price a very small fall in price will lead to infinite unlimited change in quantity demanded o q 1 q 2 q 3 and so on infinite unlimited because this is parallel to this horizontal axis and a very very small decrease in price leads to infinite change in quantity demanded therefore coefficient of price elasticity of demand will be infinity now the last degree of price elasticity of demand is perfectly inelastic perfectly inelastic demand curve in this case the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is equal to zero means price effect is completely ineffective price effect is price change on demand will be completely ineffective the increase in price of a good or decrease in price of a good will leave quantity demanded unchanged quantity demanded unchanged and the shape of demand curve is vertical in this case price and quantity demanded or units of a good demanded units of demand and this is the demand curve this vertical line let us say when price is op quantity demanded is oq when price increases to op dash quantity demanded is same oq no change in demand if there is again increase in price there is no change in quantity demanded the same level of demand remains there we can also explain it by changing the direction of price suppose the initial price was op double dash the demand was okay when there is decrease in price from op double dash to p dash there is no change in demand still if there is again fall in price from p dash to p the demand still remain as same let us say it is equal to 10 units this oq price is 10 15 and 20 the increase in price from 10 to 15 50 to 20 based on law of demand the demand should have decreased but here it is same that is 10 units if there is fall in price say from 20 to 50 50 to 10 
the demol should have increased but in our diagram it is shown that the demol remains fixed the same before after and after making change in price in this case the coefficient of price elasticity of demand is zero means the price effect in terms of demand is completely ineffective that the shape of demand curve is vertical there are some goods whose demand is perfectly inelastic let us suppose the good is life saving drug with no substitute no substitute it is necessary for these goods whose demand is perfect in elastic they should have no substitute available and on the other hand this good it is necessary necessary good for a survival of a individual given his income because income affects the demand because i have already told you that a demand without ability to pay without purchasing power without sufficient income wealth is merely a wish a demand is only fulfilled when a person has sufficient income or other forms of wealth which he can convert into cash form cash form which is known as liquid form of wealth which is in the form of cash which can be easily used to buy goods and services given his income now on the other hand he has to survive he cannot survive without for the life saving drug with no substitute good therefore he has to buy that good if even if it is price is increasing or decreasing but he will in, uh, he will demand a fixed unit not less than that not more than that at different prices let us say insulin if there is a diabetic patient diabetic patient he needs 10 injections i will write here 10 units of insulin that is 10 injections of insulin per month in order to survive if he does not inject insulin he will die therefore he has to purchase this insulin even if its price changes but fixed units not less than that not more than that let us say the price is 100 150 to 200 for 10 units of insulin when its price is 100 rupees the diabetic patient purchases 10 units of 10 injections of insulin now if there is increase in the price from 100 to 150 there should have decrease in demand of insulin but he will not decrease the demand he will put to the same because he has to survive and there is no substitute for this insulin available in the market if there is again increase in price the same demand will be there or if there the initial price of this insulin is 200 rupees for 10 injections the diabetic patient to purchase 10 units at the price of 200 now if there is fall in the price of this insulin in 10 injections from 200 to 
150 he should have increased the demand because decrease in price but he will not increase the demand because he needs the fixed 10 injections 10 units of insulin per month he does not need more than that well there is again fall in price from 150 to 100 still the demand for insulin injection remains the same there are other goods in which we can give example where the demand curve is perfectly inelastic demand curve i hope you have got it thanks best of luck